Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. I am at my second mining location today. Boy, does it feel great to be here. It's been a while, but now I can finally come here and build this 8x RX480 build. I received this, these cards from nerdgears.com. I've been slacking that I haven't made this rig for the past month. It's just been sitting here. I also had to wait for some parts. I was mainly waiting for the H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard, which took about three weeks to get in from Amazon for some reason, as I'm up in Canada here. But I have everything else, so I'm excited guys. Let me quickly explain what I have here to build this rig, okay? So I have eight PCIe risers, and these are the U-Bit branded ones. Uh, I got these from Amazon, and I got eight of them here. So these will be for the eight graphic cards, for the eight RX 480s. And by the way, these are eight gigabyte cards with Samsung memory, okay? Really great. And I'll show you guys all the hash rates and stuff when we get it up in Windows later on. So I'll show you guys that after I build this. As well as the motherboard I mentioned earlier, the H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard. I will have it coupled with eight gigs of DDR4 RAM and then a G3930 processor. Yeah, really nice motherboard. This will have, this has 13 PCIe slots, but we're only gonna be utilizing eight. Next up, for the power, power supply situations, I'm gonna be utilizing two power supplies. So the first power supply I will be utilizing for the motherboard and the hard drive, the SSD here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It'll just be powering the motherboard and SSD and the next power supply that you guys may see here is an HP 1200 watt power supply, platinum rated, and I'm gonna be using the 1200 watt 240 volt option here. The reason why for that is because we'll get a little bit more efficiency. Of course, I can use more power and as I'm using a two, 240 volt PDU already in this whole setup. And I, you guys may have seen, I have two breakout boards here. I, I have two here, I, I, don't, I think I'm gonna be using this one. This is probably a newer one, and I mem somebody mentioned that this was an older breakout board, which does look pretty old. So I'm, I'm probably gonna ditch this one and use this one for the power supply here, which just goes into right here. And as well as I got some PCIe cables to couple with the breakout board. So I have eight regular PCIe cables here, which will power the graphic cards. This six pin end will go into here, and then the other end of that is an eight pin PCIe but I have some PCIe splitters here. These are, it goes to eight pin to dual eight pin. So what I'm gonna be doing here is each PCIe cable will be powering a GPU and a riser. That's why I have these splitters so that each PCIe cable that goes in, into one of these ports here in the breakout board, I'm gonna be using eight PCIe cables with eight PCIe splitters to power the PCIe port in each of the graphic cards and the other end will go into the PCIe riser. That, that is what my plan is, and I actually have not done that before on any of these rigs before with HP server power supplies. This is actually gonna be one of my first rigs that I'm ever gonna be building with a server power supply. I've seen plenty of other people make these kind of rigs with server power supplies. That's, that's my plan here, and let me know in the comments if you guys think that's wrong for my uh, explanation there, but let me know. And that's pretty much it guys. So let's go ahead and build this rig now. I'm gonna record myself here just explaining what I'm doing along the way, very all the all the little tiny steps. I'm trying to go, I'll try to do it real quick here. I'm not gonna do any music or anything like that. I'm sure uh, this will hopefully help some people that are maybe wanting to get into GPU mining and just wanting to understand what each part does. Let's get into it. All right guys, first step is the motherboard. I just have to put the CPU and the RAM into the motherboard here. G3930, I got this used on Craigslist. So you guys gotta make sure it lines up with the uh, two little tab things here. Make sure it's snug, give it a little shake and close the little snap part here. There we go, so CPU is in. Now, since I got this used, it didn't come with any of the thermal paste or anything, so I have some Arctic Silver here. I'm just gonna put that a little bit on top here. Just a rice size. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and put it in like this. Okay, there we go. So the fan tabs are in. There we go. H110 Pro BTC Plus, guys. This is the, one of the best motherboards 
on the market for a while now. Love this board and I know a lot of you guys love this board as well. Next part, I just gotta put in the ram. I pick it up, flop it in, support with both hands. That's how I like putting in my ram. Some people just like putting it on top and pushing down. I don't like doing that, it kind of like bends the motherboard. I like to lift it up and you know, put some support underneath your hands and then you just push it in like that so it goes in pretty even and you don't have to worry about it bending. All right, I'm just gonna put the motherboard underneath here, like so. It's gonna just go this way, I believe. Now we're gonna do the power supply here. All right, so for this CX450M, pretty small power supply, I'm just utilizing this power supply for the motherboard, the CPU power, as well as the hard drive. And I forgot to mention that I also have eight fans there that are on the frame right now. So I have to utilize the Molex connectors as well to power on the fans. Okay, so you guys may see here, in order to put one of these kind of power supplies on a VETA frame like this, VETA also came with these little thumbnail screws here so that you can just sit this power supply. We're gonna, we're gonna put it right into this part here. Basically it's gonna go like this, and there we go. Next step is to make sure you plug in your motherboard power and CPU power for the motherboard, which I already gone ahead and did. Also, I plugged in the single Molex cable that plugs in all of my, the 140 millimeter fans for my VETA frame here. Next part, I'm just putting in the SSD. I plugged in the SATA power from the ATX power supply into the SSD, as well as the SATA cable that goes into the motherboard. Next step, this is gonna be the biggest part, putting in the HP server power supply. I've already situated eight of the PCIe cables into this breakout board here. The hardest part is to figure out if I put the HP server power supply on that side, will it be enough cabling to reach on this? So let me go ahead now and put this in and let me see if it will fit. So one crappy little thing is no real way to screw in the HP server power supply like I can do with the ATX power supply in the bracket there. So what I had to do was use some zap straps and just tie it around here. I, I tried putting in these, these little guys here. I, I tried taking off off these screws there was one down there tried to fit it through there but it wouldn't thread in this had to do for now I don't know maybe let me know in the comments if you guys were able to successfully bolster this HP server power supply into a VETA frame somehow all right looks like it works the cables are definitely long enough I have the HP server power supply there and you guys can see the cables that are going along from here goes underneath Mind you guys, I will be doing the cable management after. And I already put in the splitters, I put in two of the risers. I was just testing each PCIe cable, which I've explained before. And that goes into the breakout boards here. Each one is for a graphic card and a riser, okay? I'm just gonna test out if it turns on here just with these two graphic cards. All right. Looks like they're on. All right, almost there, plugging them all in. I didn't have, I don't have electrical tape on me or nearby, so I haven't been able to wrap them with electrical tape, but we're gonna see later, once I power them on, if they will short circuit or not. It may be a very expensive mistake, but we're gonna see. And I have all the PCIe risers in, I just need to plug in four more power cables. All right. All the power cables are plugged in, the splitters, the HP server power supply with the breakout board with the eight PCIe cables in, uh, the risers, I plugged in the PCIe into the motherboard, the ATX power supply, I got it plugged into the PDU right now, I got two cables going in, one into the HP server power supply, one into the ATX power supply. Cables, reasonably cable managed for now, I just want to get through, I'm just too excited to build this rig and get it going. Um, hard drive's in, the fan is plugged in with all the Molex power cables. 
And another thing I figured out, I realized, is that the ATX power supply has a four pin floppy power. I put it into the HP server power supply right here. So apparently this connector make this power supply wake up. Let's do a power on test here. I haven't turned it on yet. I'm super nervous that some of this stuff is gonna fry or something is gonna short circuit. I don't think so, but this motherboard has a power button on the motherboard already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click that. It's on this side here. There it is. I don't, I don't smell anything. Nothing's smoking. It's, it's turned on. Asus Strix cards, all RGB. Okay guys, I think that's good. It looks like they're all running, except for this card. The fans aren't going on this one. Actually, the fans are going on all of them, except for these two cards here. That's weird. Okay, maybe that's just a bug or something. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead now and plug it into the monitor and keyboard, and we're going to install Windows, get Claymore going, and see what kind of hash rate we get out of this, guys. I think this video is getting a little bit long. I'm going to actually make a part two for tomorrow. So you guys will see part two right away for tomorrow as this video is probably getting pretty long. I'm sorry if I left you in a cliffhanger. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think of the build and also the stuff that I mentioned in the video regarding, you know, some few things and let me know what I could have done better. I would love to know in the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and peace out.